December 18th, 2023. Canada, baby, and I'm coming back at you for a second time. Double header, double header, Monday, buddy. Okay, is it Monday or is it Tuesday? Oh, yeah, it's Monday. <laughs> it's like Groundhog Day because I'm waiting to go back to work, and uh, that's such a big rigmarole. Uh, but, uh, you know what, uh, I can't sit at home and, uh, do nothing and get stupid, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so, this is a really inexpensive, uh, little hobby I got going on, okay? Um, and I'm, uh, it gives me a purpose to get up every day and try to make a difference, uh, when I'm, I'm not at work doing that, okay? Alright, I didn't get to do, uh, Tent City Weather Report. Uh, it's, uh, kind of foggy and, uh, just kind of damp out there today. It's not real cold, but it's damp, and, you know, it's cold enough that that dampness gets right to you, right? Okay, so don't forget to, uh, sign that petition, and, uh, make sure you're spreading that manure, guys. We have to get up to Arctic Canada and down east. Uh, I don't know where we're at with that. Last I checked, we were at 348,000 and change, okay? Could be up. Let's hold fingers crossed. Okay, so... Like I said the other day, we are going to talk about Rob Ford, okay? Uh, Dougie's brother, okay? Um, and we're going to talk about Danielle Smith, okay? So I was watching CTV. Danielle Smith had a big conference uh, today, and it was like how um, reporting used to be, you know? She was right there and took in call questions, and that Danielle Smith isn't messing around. Um, she's advocating for uh, the people of Alberta. And whether she's right or wrong, I admire her. Uh, I don't know the full scope of it, but it feels like she's really standing up to Trudeau and his regime. Like, that's basically Trudeau and his regime, okay? Uh, so, Danielle Smith... Uh, you're a force to be reckoned with, and uh, Dougie, I might, I would, if I were you, I'd take some tips from Danielle Smith because uh, it's your time to shine, baby. Your time to shine, Doug. Okay. So, Dougie, I'm going to give you a little bit of a break here because we can all see that Trudeau has not been funding the provinces. Every premier has said it. If the proof is in it, the pudding. There's homeless across the Canada. It is crazy, and the drug problem is unreal. And guys, you gotta listen to some of my other videos. I have been had a crazy ride, okay? And I have seen it all. Um, and society has just gone to H-E double hockey sticks in a hand basket, okay? It is violent, and there's a incredible drug problem out there, okay? So all the premiers have not been getting their money, money, which means the municipalities have not been getting their money. So where's all our money going to, guys? So Trudeau, as we know, what we know, um, we had that uh, Jody Raybould uh, scandal, the We um, Lavalant or SC Lavalant, whatever it is. He said one after the other. He's he was the first prime minister of ethics scandals, and he's had a couple of those. He abused the power of the Emergency Act. He never did talk to anyone. He's caused all this division, the crime on the street. And did you know you can order a taser online? Yep, I, I realized that when I was living at the motel. Because I had to email the judge to tell him how ridiculous it was that somebody ordered that online, guys. And that person, their charges got dropped because I was pretty good at articulating myself. Crime is running rampant, and uh, they're taking away the victim's rights, okay? And all the abusers have more rights, and that's everywhere. And we're breeding it in the schools, actually. You know, you can't tell a kid no. Uh, so then what, when that kid becomes of age, when a woman tells him or her no, they're not going to know what no means, right? Hmm. Do you mean to, guys? Holy moly. Okay, um, I think I got that. Okay, we're going to talk about Rob Ford, and I'm going to make this real quick. Okay, everybody knocked Rob Ford, including me. That's Dougie's brother. He used to be the mayor of Toronto, okay? When Dougie passed away, I was, uh, I had a little job where I was delivering stuff, and I was listening to, uh, 
a talk radio show and uh, on AM640, I believe. And it was Mike Statford. I really liked him. And right after Trudeau got in, I never heard about uh, Mike Statford anymore, but he was really made a lot of sense. When Rob died, the people of Toronto were calling in. I couldn't believe it. I had a newfound respect for, for Doug, or Rob Ford, okay? Yeah, he, he said about that time he had more than enough to eat at home, okay? Well, right now, guys, Canadians don't have that. We don't have enough to eat at home. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Holy moly. Okay, so, they said, uh, these were people calling in from Toronto. They said, Rob, would call us at whatever hour, 1.30 in the morning, and he called the person and said, sorry, it's so late, I'm calling you, um, but uh, it was the only chance I got to get to you. Um, and then I heard another caller say that uh, Doug went to, or er, Rob, went to get a sub somewhere, found out they were short-staffed and had no delivery driver, and Rob said, here, give me the subs and I'll go deliver them. And it was you, Doug that said, you told Rob, you can't do that because you're the mayor of Toronto. And Rob told you, hey, I made a $3 tip and I got four voters. And Rob saved Toronto a million dollars. Dougie, Dougie, you might want to start rethinking your priorities, Doug, okay? Uh, because I emailed you and I've called you and I've never heard back from you. And... I know that you've kind of been getting jerked around, but maybe you should start taking some uh, some Danielle Smith's uh, advice. And because uh, I think she's got a bigger pair, you know what I'm saying, Doug? Okay, stay you, stay true, get to talking, and uh, make sure we're signing that petition and we're spreading it like manure, guys. See you tomorrow morning.